we talk about communications need to be planned. And that's our job as project managers to have a good project communication plan. Things like announcing major milestones and putting it in your schedule and announcing when something's gonna be released and when training's coming. And, you know, when there's gonna be change or when your schedule changes and something that happens, I see how this happen. I bet you do too. There's a big project happening at your company. It's like a major initiative and somebody announces that it's gonna go live in fall. And then a couple of months before the go live, there's, it's very quiet and there aren't very many announcements and the fall turns into winter and there's no announcements. And we don't want that. I get it. Nobody likes it when something is late, but we need to keep people informed. That's our job. What you want is a communication plan. It can be simple. It can be a matrix where you know, like with whom, what they need to know, when they need to know it. And then what do you expect? And this was so important at one organization that I worked for. There was, there was one organization where we were upgrading some software and it was being used all across this large uh, organization. I'll call it a campus, like not, it wasn't a university campus, but like a, you know, a campus situation, a, a, a corporate campus and 15,000 people were using this software. So we were rolling it out group by group, as you might imagine. And I had a plan and it was in my schedule because each group had to have a certain amount of communication before the rollout. That is how important some of these things can be. And, you know, so why can't I just say it one time, one way? We are all so bombarded with information that it's really important to deliver messages in multiple ways.